Several years ago, my family and I made the switch to aluminum-free deodorant. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the difference between deodorant, aluminum-free, and antiperspirant that has aluminum. And I'm going to talk to you about whether or not it was worth it. If you're interested in finding out more, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Hope. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, if you like what you hear today, go ahead and hit that like button, leave a comment, and hit the subscribe button. Make sure to turn on the post notifications. And also, if the information has any value to you, go ahead and share it so that other people can um, have access to this information as well. All right, so I'm gonna jump right into it. So the major difference between aluminum deodorant with aluminum and deodorant without aluminum is that the deodorant with aluminum works on uh, blocking your sweat glands from producing sweat and deodorant without aluminum just works on the odor causing bacteria. It doesn't help to stop you from sweating. So sweat is our body's natural way of cooling itself down. Sweat in our underarms are produced um, as a result of the nervous system activating uh, glands called the um, apocrine or apocrine glands. These are our sweat glands. These apocrine glands produce sweat that is high in protein. These protein attracts odor causing bacteria. So aluminum free de deodorant will attack these odor causing bacteria to reduce the um, underarm odor. However, uh, deodorant with aluminum, the aluminum salts block the body's natural uh, perspiration process by creating a gel layer that blocks the apocrine gland from producing sweat. Now you might be saying, well, I don't use aluminum free deodorant and I still sweat. What's up with that? If you want to uh, use a deodorant that actually prevents you from sweating, the best recommendation is to use the aluminum deodorant at night. After you shower, make sure that your armpits are nice and dry and then apply your deodorant before going to bed. Basically, your body needs time when your sweat glands are at rest for the aluminum to be absorbed in, in order to block the glands from producing sweat. Now, you might say, well, I'm a morning shower type of person. That's okay. If you put on your uh, aluminum or your antiperspirant deodorant at night and it's had time to be absorbed into your skin to block those uh, sweat gland, you can still get up in the morning and shower. And here's the kicker, you won't even need to add another coat of antiperspirant. You can, or you can simply use a non-aluminum deodorant uh, to get the odor blocking effect. If you put on antiperspirant in the morning after you shower, chances are you're only getting the deodorant effect and not necessarily the antiperspirant effect. In that case, it may be best to just go ahead and use an aluminum-free uh, deodorant because chances are you'll still sweat, but you won't stink. Aluminum-free deodorant is much more versatile. As long as your armpits or your underarm are at least towel dry, you can just apply it because what it will do, the deodorant aspect will help to block those um, odor causing uh, bacteria. Also, aluminum from antiperspirant and other sources can build up in your body. So experts uh, suggest that not everybody, especially if you have chronic kidney issues or chronic health issues, that maybe it's not the best thing to use um, aluminum deodorant. Although there are no studies in particular that shows um, antiperspirant linked to cancer, there are studies that show that a uh, buildup of aluminum in your system can lead to some issues. One of those things that were um, being studied is Alzheimer's in older adults. An increased exposure to aluminum in everyday products can lead to an accumulation in the brain. So it's always best to limit your chemical exposure as much as possible. Uh, like I said, our family has been aluminum free in terms of our deodorant for several years now. And I run, I sweat, but I smell okay, I smell good. And when I'm in a position where I am not going to um, sweat as much, uh, my, uh, 
aluminum free deodorant has been uh, great. Now, over the years, I've experimented with a host of different aluminum free deodorants. These are a few of the aluminum free deodorants that I've used. Tom's of Maine was the most expensive. Schmidt had the largest variety of fragrances. The Equate brand was the harshest and the Arm & Hammer brand worked the best for us. I've tried really expensive ones and I've tried ones that are on the less expensive uh, spectrum. And to be honest, I found that the ones that were least expensive um, was just as effective as the ones that were very expensive. In fact, there were some that we had initially used that um, uh, burned our armpits or our underarms um, and causing some discoloration. It was very strong. So I wasn't able to continue to use those. The two that I use most often, I'll put a link um, in the description, but my favorite is Simple Arm and & Hammer. And I'll put that in the description as well. It's proven to be one of the least expensive deodorant. Uh, it comes in different fragrances and it's done the job. So if you are thinking about switching to aluminum free deodorant, I would recommend taking the plunge. Um, if you're a person that doesn't like to sweat, chances are with your antiperspirant, unless you're applying it um, at the right time, giving your body time to block the sweat glands, you sweat. So just go ahead and reduce your chemical exposure by reducing um, the exposure to aluminum that comes with deodorant, since that's something that we're using every day and multiple times a day. If you like the information that you received here, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. I want to know what type of deodorant do you use? Do you use a natural um, non-aluminum deodorant or do you use um, traditional deodorant? Also, um, let me know if you actually make your own deodorant. There are a whole lot of recipes out there that gives you um, the tools to make your, de your own deodorant. I've tried it in the past and I'll probably do a video in the future, but um, that's also an option. You can uh, make your own deodorant. That saves you money and definitely it saves that chemical exposure. All right, don't forget to subscribe, share this video, and I will see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.